Let's forget that. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, members of the board, the State Department of Transportation will begin work on the Hampton Harbor Bridge to replace the lifting device uh, the week of February 19th. Please watch for workers and equipment on the bridge. The bridge will remain open to vehicular traffic during repair operations. Property owners who wish to file for a tax abatement must do so by March 1, 2018 by statute. Property owners who are eligible for veterans, elderly, or blind exemptions from property taxes must obtain and complete a f and file <coughs> excuse me, applications with the assessor's office not later than April 15, 2018. Property owners who are eligible for the Hampton Beach Precinct property tax exemption must obtain the necessary forms from the town's assessor's office and file those by April 15, 2018. The annual town election and meeting will be held on Tuesday, March 13th at the Winnicott High School. Polls are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. For those who cannot attend but wish to, uh, wish to vote and are eligible to vote, will need to submit an application for an absentee ballot. Forms are available at the town clerk's office or can be obtained online on the town's website. Please follow the instructions carefully. I do have, just for the board's information, we have re received uh, two resignations this week from management employees. Uh, the the assistant building inspector has submitted his resignation effective February, Friday, February 23rd. And our Park and Recreation Director has announced her re retirement effective Sunday, March 11th, 2018. She has more than 25 years of service at this point. That's it, Mr. Chairman. Questions? Um, so the S&T ballots, I just had a lot of people asking me, and I actually reached out to the town clerk today. Right. She said they're probably going to be sent out sometime next week. It's important, so, yeah, it's important that people apply for that so that they'll be sent out in time and they can get them back in time. So they can apply now and then they'll get sent to their regular address. There is a form that they have to pick up on the website. They can fill that out, send it in, and it'll be mailed directly to them. Okay. I have a question on the absentee ballots. Sir. Also, if somebody comes, he, if somebody comes to the clerk's window mm -hmm. to get one for somebody in a car that can't come in, don't they have to see the person sign it? I think they do, yeah. So that it's important that anybody that wants to get an absentee ballot that they check the website and check right. with the town. Check clerk. very carefully. Very because carefully. Because there are very specific instructions. And every year there's people that say, well, I sent it, but it didn't count. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rusty? Nope. Did you say something <coughs> about the building inspector? The deputy building inspector has oh, submitted his deputy. resignation. Not, not the building, the deputy. I'm going to say you're taking that off lightly. <laughs> uh, just a real, real uh, enthusiastic thanks for those that uh, have submitted their resignations and for their wonderful tenure and service to the town. They're both magnificent people. Yeah, I just going to say that, that, that both tremendous, and, I, and I, I think losing the recreation director is, is a tremendous loss to me because we have a, a phenomenal program, program here in, that she runs. And I will say that we have a study in about salaries, and I know that both people have stated because they don't make enough money that they're going someplace to make more money. Yeah. And yeah. it's a shame to lose people that are going to make more money. I mean, I'm not saying we should give everybody everything, but I think we are having the same problem in the Public Works Department. We, uh, we did hire somebody about a week ago. And, uh, or try to hire somebody about a week ago, and they said they couldn't take the job because they couldn't take the pay cut. Completely qualified for the work, but they would have had to take a $4 an hour pay cut to come to work for the town. I would also like to thank Diana. Um, it's good. I realize that um, she's been, you know, not happy about the amount of money that she makes for a long time. Right. Yep. And uh, it's not a secret. She's excellent. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I'll, you know, jump on that too. It's you know, she's been a real asset to this town for, you said twenty five years. More than twenty five years. More than twenty five years, and uh, uh, she's going to have some hard shoes to fill. Yeah. And she's done a great job, and uh, best of luck, whatever she does. She's okay. she's going with a private company uh, that specializes in the. Uh, marketing and, and uh, ins installation of uh, playground equipment for parks and recreation departments, and she certainly is well qualified in that area. Right. 
I think that we need to, when we look into the future, we need to look at um, where maybe hire a person in parks that can, can <clears throat> maybe we, there's a way that we can incorporate the parks department into something to do with the cemeteries in this town. Um, I think that's we should take a look at it and see if there's not uh, something that would make a synergy that would work well. Both of them are basically maintenance functions for grounds, and we should look carefully at any of the maintenance functions for grounds to see how well we can do in keeping that running properly and at a good a good uh, a good speed for the taxpayers and, and at a good cost for the taxpayers. And and do something to keep up the uh, the parks that we do have. Yes, and maybe get some some more in the future. Okay, Important. cool. Old business.